Hello guys, this is Wolfie Kingston on the Wolfie Kingston channel. I'm here with uh, Sky Slash here. We're basically gonna have a good talk. It's been a while since we've done these videos of you know channel updates, and uh, as you know, um, we're gonna talk about where this channel is gonna lead off to in 2020. As you guys know, I said earlier in the year of 2019. That I'm actually going to put more cosplay content on this channel, and as and as you've seen, I have actually done that. I started the movement hashtag the content with you, and I've started that on Instagram first before I brought it up to my YouTube. And so far, that's been getting pretty good, and I want I want to keep that the the, the train rolling. So, <clears throat> what I said in the last video in the XSW draft stream, um, basically. I'm going to be working a lot for the next three weeks because Christmas, and so I'm hardly going to be able to have any time to even do streaming. I'd be lucky if I'll be able to. And if I do, it's mostly going to be like Paladins or um, Realm Royale, which we had a really fun with. I liked it. Yeah, I, I, I feel, honestly, it's like the better Fortnite. It's like, a, like mine, like you said, a better version of Fortnite with Paladins abilities mixed in. Yes, and no building. Thank God. All we have is just turning into a horse, and then if we almost die, we turn into a chicken, which is pretty fucking funny. But, um, alas to that. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm doing a project, and I have stated in some, some, uh, some streams, but, uh, this is a, a project to start the movement through YouTube of the Contents With You, and that is my Project Dice. Project Dice is basically a character named Dice, and he is uh, he is a character from this uh, manga that's actually going to be an anime, uh, Hypnotic Mike. Um, it was on Twitter. My friend uh, Cherry, she posted it on her story on Instagram, and in 2020, it's finally going to be an anime, and I cannot wait to watch it. Did I not try to do, like, an actual music group based off Hypnotic Mike, or...? Um, no, Hypnotic Mike was just basically a spot where it was a manga, and the voice actors of those characters, they decided to do live rap performances, which okay. is basically how the story is. So, again, it's going to be lit when it becomes an anime. I can't wait. <clears throat> and that project is actually going to start on Saturday. I've been hyping it up on Instagram because I'm always all over Instagram because I love cosplay and I always keep people posted. Um, it's going to happen on Saturday and once that is there, once everything is set, I'm going to try to set it up to where it's a teaser. You're going to get a little teaser trailer for, um, for Project Dice because I'm going to drop the entire video once 2020 begins. Because as I said, there's going to be a lot of cool, a lot of cool things that I'm going to try to do alongside of doing game streams. Because I know you guys like me doing WTAW and all that stuff and just gaming in general. But as I said before, I don't want to just stick to that. I actually want to do other stuff like cosplay, for example. And that's like a big part of what I love to do, which I have considered it as a career. But of course, i got to keep striving to get where I'm at. And then, you know, we'll see where it is. Um, also... Uh, there is a new, there's going to be a production, basically, and it's called The Con Ends at Night, which is, of course, associated with The Con Ends with you, but also with, associated with my friend Nightmare Cosplay, and with a couple of our great friends. We have decided that we're going to do a lot of CMVs. CMV is cosplay music videos, which is basically what Project Dice is going to be. And we're really excited. We put a lot of ideas in, in, the, in the bucket right now. And right now we're just in the planning phase. We're going to try to set everything up perfectly. Well, not perfectly. We're going to try to set things up, see how things go. And after that, then we're going to try to make our first actual plan production. So um, keep, we're gonna, I'll keep you updated on that. Also, uh, the big, big announcement since it's going to be a while since I'm going to be doing these. Um, the big announcement is in February 2020, I'm going to be out of town. I'm going to be going to Washington, D.C. because my friend Kat convinced me to go to this con in Washington, D.C. called Katsukon. And the more I thought about it, <clears throat> I wanted to spread, it made me think, 
I could spread the Condens Review movement to DC, and that could spread from there all the way down to where California is, and it could spread all over the all over the United States. Which is a you know, a good idea. And depending on where it goes, possibly Canada. Shit, and if it goes to Canada, shit, that'd be great. Say hey, amen if you're here to the Condens Review, eh? <laughs> <laughs> but all joking aside, yeah. yes, and also joking aside, that's what I want to do because when I started the movement early 2019 of ALA, I you know wanted to start a movement to where you know it brings a lot of love, hope, and positivity to the cosplay community because there's been a lot of bad shit that's been happening. Which, which example, there was an arson attack at ALA this year, and it was right across the street from my hotel. Um, basically a cosplayer was shot you, down. What? I think how I remember is that, didn't he try to, like, ask a girl to be his? Or... Yeah, basically ask her out. And, you know, she turned him down. Of course, got butthurt about it and just blew up her car. Talk about disproportionate retribution. With six other cars in the process. That's just... Yeah. Criminal. It's, it's dumb and it's just ridiculous. And so with that, I'm like, this, this isn't for cosplayers like we don't need to deal with that we don't need to deal with things like that that you know hurts other people that just want to have fun and i want to bring the positivity and hope that people can still go we just gotta excuse me we just gotta try our best to to fight and spread all the love for cosplayers and cosplay alike so everyone can continue to go to cons without any mischief negativity toxicity and you know illegal shit and stuff and that also led to a couple months later crunchyroll expo some uh there was a person that committed suicide from what i was told and the authorities said that they smelled a po poisonous odor and i'm like that is really crazy i don't know all the details but that's literally the big brief of that i know and you know i know i had friends I knew friends that basically did commit suicide and you know it's something that isn't really something you have to you look over because suicide is very serious and you know if you feel like you're if you feel that your friend is in trouble around that gray area please call the suicide line or call or text your closest friend because you know, it, it isn't it isn't okay to lose a life, to take out your own life, especially when, you know, things have been going bad, because bad things happen. It, it just happens. There's nothing we can do about it sometimes. We can avoid them, but sometimes we can't always do that, because we never know when it, when it comes. And so, you know, just always try to reach your hand out to your closest friend, to your closest buddy, and, you know, check on them, making sure they're okay. Because, like, you never know, you may not see them the next day. And so, that's my reason why I've been focused on cosplaying a lot. Don't get me wrong, I love streaming. And that's why I want to bring this to my channel, so that way you can also look at this while having fun with gaming. That I can also have fun, that I can also have fun outside the house and not behind a controller and stuff i'm not saying it's it's not saying that i'm gonna like solely stop gaming i'm not gonna stop it's just with all the thoughts that i have of what i can do and what i what i can do with friends i want to bring that together with cosplay and it's something that i love so much and i really do hope you guys too do too um so that's what's going on there is the con ends at the night the con ends at night productions that will be the new filming thing that you'll see on this channel and if it does get more popular we may form it into a youtube channel but from the but so far it's just small be, steps small yeah steps. small steps so far it's just it's so far it's just the instagram page that only the people in the circle will be able to take will be able to take control of and posting you know cosplay stuff like that and so like, like post cosplay pitch ideas yeah post cosplays stuff. pitch ideas and see what we can do and like you know spitball and stuff and so um 
yeah, that's that's what's that's what's going on right now. And again, uh, XSW will be most likely the new stream for the for the new year, and uh, cost uh, a CMV. A CMV will be dropping next uh, once twenty twenty starts. As soon as I'm done with the filming, um, this coming Saturday, and uh, that's pretty much it. And of course, things will will change along the way. Like w, w, D, WWE Two K Twenty, we're most likely gonna get updates in due time. But like, as far as I know, we're most like we we're most likely gonna be doing other things and not and not slowly revolt uh, rely on that because I don't know when they're gonna have everything fixed. With 2K20, and you know, I have other this, stuff. Based off the news we've been hearing at 2K, that may look grim, but we're still gonna. Still gonna what? We're still gonna try and see what we can do. Yeah, we're still gonna try. Because, I mean, you can only do so much if so many people just up and leave. Yeah, because didn't, didn't uh, workers that worked for 2K quit? Yeah. yeah. They just didn't want to deal with the repercussions of 2K20 anymore. Yeah, it was, it was just bad. And so that's why, you know, with wrestling content, that's why I formed XSW and UMGW, which will also be dropping to uh, 2020. As I said, man, this channel is going to start changing. It's going to start evolving the best way possible. And I really do appreciate that you guys have been along for the ride. And so main thing I ask is that please, on your Instagram, try and put hashtag the con ends with you on your bio so that way if your other friends like cosplay or you know other or your friends know other friends that cosplay they can lead uh, you can lead the, the hashtag to them and they can follow the hashtag so they can spread it and that way it can spread larger and larger and larger and so that way my my work is still you know going in effect of me trying to change the cosplay community for the better in the best possible way positively better couldn't word that shit right but you, you get the gist of that. so um that's basically the big update i'll be gone in february 2020 for like a couple days so i'll try to put content from there and uh two new streams will happen in the new year to uh substitute WKW and the games that we've been streaming now we're gonna finish those and there's gonna be a lot a hell of a lot of cosplay content coming your way and so I really hope you enjoy it because I can't wait to get started on this I'm ready for this I I couldn't have asked better of, of what I've been given I'm very blessed to have it and I'm very blessed that I'm able to spread it around with everyone so I hope you get this message and all that good stuff. So, uh, this is Wolfie Kingston on the Wolfie Kingston channel. Don't let the darkness dim your light. And make sure you like this and end in despair. It's got Sasha Mike signing off. If you venture to a casino, don't deal with the devil. I don't care what he offers. See you guys later. And as always, let the con end with you.